Hey guys and welcome back to the Little Bits channel and welcome back to yet another 24 days of Little Bits video. Today's video is going to be a chatty product demonstration, bit of everything kind of video. Today's product is the Rainbow Pebbles and I'm super excited to chat through this product with you, show you guys it being used because honestly I think I've fallen in love with this. So in this video I'm going to be chatting through what the rainbow pebbles are and how you can use them and then at the end of the video I'm going to have a musical montage of me using them. Warning, it's probably going to be quite a long musical montage because I didn't want to speed up the footage that I got and playing with these can take you on for hours and hours and hours and honestly I'm not gonna lie I've sat and played with these for a good half a day before and just got sucked into it so I didn't want to cut the footage down or speed it up I wanted it to be raw unedited so it might be quite a long one so stay tuned to the end of the video to see that but first let's chat through what the rainbow pebbles actually are they come in this lovely little box uh, i've got to say i do really love the packaging of this product because it's just lovely to have a nice place to put your sensory items and to keep them safe so having a big box like this i really appreciate and then it just pops open like that and the rainbow pebbles are inside rainbow pebbles are exactly what it says on the tin they are rainbow colored pebbles but they're not real pebbles gotta say they are made of plastic uh they come in a little bag in the box so double protected which again i love and they look a little something like this so you get 36 pebbles in the pack you get six colors and six pebbles within that color so you get six blue pebbles six red six yellow six green six orange and six purple which makes 36, hopefully if my maths is correct. And they each come in like, each color is like a set in its own. So you get a blue big one, then a blue little medium one. Then you get a kind of like a teardrop shaped one, kind of like a little toenail shaped one. <laughs> That's not attractive. I was gonna say like a claw or a talon and then toenail came out, uh, but it looks a little something like that. And then you get a square one, and then you also get a very small toenail. <laughs> and that is the blue set, and then the orange set looks exactly the same. You get an orange big one, and then a medium one, and then a tear shape, and then a claw, and then a... where's my square? You get a square, and then you get a little toenail. So each set is of the same shape pebbles, and but you get different colours of the same shape. Hopefully that makes sense. I was wondering how long it was gonna take for my dog to join me. This is Meg, if you guys don't know. Um, I don't know what it is about these rainbow pebbles, but she loves them. I don't know what it is, but she just really enjoys them. Every time I get them out, she is right by my side. I don't know if it's the smell of them, or I don't know what it is, but she loves them. So clearly, they are dog friendly as well. Probably not actually because they're quite a choking hazard. That's the one thing about these that I will say. Um, younger children, you probably need to supervise with this or not use them with younger children. They are for ages three and up, but um, they, the small ones are definitely a choking hazard. So please be aware of that. Also in the box that comes with the rainbow pebbles are these 20 activity cards. Now, if you know me, you know that I am a big lover of sensory play, but I like being told what to do. I'm very bad with imagination and trying to think up ways to use things. Um, sometimes I'm good at it, other times I just want to be told what to do because I'm too lazy to think up ways. And that's what I love about the rainbow pebbles. They come with these um, almost like challenge cards. So you can kind of challenge yourself to create all of these different uh, patterns and towers and creations. Uh, some of them are harder than others and you can also use them for maths and counting. I know a lot of um, kids would use these for numbers and learning how to count and um, you know big, little to large kind of thing. So big towers you can make, structures, you can make pictures and animals, you get the idea. The texture of these I'm going to be so bad at explaining because like I said they are made of plastic but they are really silky smooth. They're very strong, like you can't bend them. They've got a really very strong core to them. It means you can't bend or break them. 
but the actual surface texture is really unlike anything I felt before which I know is not helpful because there's a lot of people out there who are very sensitive to textures and I often like to give comparisons to try and say oh it feels like suede, it feels like velvet, it feels like putty, you know that kind of stuff. I like to give people comparisons just so they can see if it's something that they would like. I can't do that with this unfortunately because I haven't felt anything like this and they are very matte, they are very smooth, they are very silky, um, really soft, very nice and tactile. If you are a fan of mood stones, I think you might like these because you can, with the smaller ones, just hold them in your hand and just kind of run your thumb across. This is a very tactile toy, as you can tell. It's all about the touching, the building, the constructing, the balancing. Um, it's very visual as well. You can be lovely and neat and build a structure of just one colour, or you can mix it up and throw lots of different colours in there. So it's mainly tactile and visual. They do have a very slight scent. It's just a plastic smell, it just comes from the material, I'm guessing. Um, it's nothing that I would be too concerned about or that I would kind of warn you guys that it could be not very nice or that you might be sensitive to it. It's very, almost non-existent, but there is a very subtle plastic smell, uh, but it doesn't stay on your hands. You really can't smell it when you're building and playing with them. It's only if you really, really smell them that you can actually get the scent. Um, but apart from that, I think that's everything. I'm not going to build stuff and show you guys how these are used now. I'm going to leave that until the musical montage because this is a product that is very self-explanatory. It explains itself. Um, you kind of really have to see it in action in order to really get the feel of it and to really appreciate it. So I'm just going to leave it at that, I think, today. If you want to check out the Rainbow Pebbles in a bit more detail, the Little Bits website product page will be in the description box. You can head on over, look at the Rainbow Pebbles online, you can see all the product info, and if you fancy, you can order them through the Little Bits website. I think they would make a cracking Christmas present this year for anyone. I don't think they're limited to age or gender or walk of life. I honestly think this is such a fab present. And now I've got them out in front of me, I know how I'm going to be spending my evening. <laughs> I'm going to leave you with the musical montage of me playing with the rainbow pebbles so you can really get an idea as to how they can be used. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you've enjoyed it and subscribe so that you don't miss out on any more of the uploads that are coming for the 24 days of Little Bits. I hope you've had a really, really good day and I will see you tomorrow. Bye!